Okay guys, I have a problem. I just realized that Houston was my last shoot of the year and I have 3,800 miles left before I hit gold status. Delta told me there's a huge difference between silver and gold. For gold, you end up a lot higher on the upgrade list. You get upgraded way more often. You also have access to the Sky Miles lounges and you get same day flight changes for free. Silver, you don't get any of that. So that means in order to hit gold and not have to start back from the beginning next year at zero miles, I'm going to have to book a flight between now and the end of the year. Now the question is, where do I go and who can come with me? Great news. Uh, well, first I called John and then I texted Jake and neither of them wanted to go with me. So that would have been dope to have like a bro mileage run trip. But I did find a place to go and a reason to fly across the country for Christmas. So now I'm over here in Silver Lake and I have to pick up a couple of things for the people who are accepting me to the orphan's Christmas. Okay. Okay, mucho gusto. Gracias por todo. Nos vemos. Before I go on my trip, I've got to stop by work and grab a hard drive or two uh, for some things that I'm going to work on while I'm on my vacation. Hi. What the f Hi. Oh, hello. Hi there. I can't imagine walking into a wine shop and being greeted better than by a Pomeranian. Aaron two done. Jesus. Uh, and I gotta do one more thing before I go back to my house and pack and then go straight to the airport. Fun. Back at LAX. It's a freaking mess out here. Gracias por todo. I never travel at night, guys. I'm usually here in the morning, so this is quite a different experience for me. And I'll need your ID as well. Look at this line. I swear Trista had me thinking, maybe we should start taking later flights. Maybe it would be awesome to not wake up at 4 in the morning or 3 in the morning. But after coming to the airport at 9 o'clock at night and seeing the madness that it is, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to stick to my 6 a.m. flights and avoid all the people who have no idea what it's like to travel. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much. As you're getting comfortable in the camera, we do ask it is still small bags waiting to see in front of you. See you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, take care. All right, 757, nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Normally, I don't do window seats, but since I'm so tired, I'm doing one today so I can lean and sleep. I'm gonna check my app and see if my miles updated. I wanna see how close I am to the final number. It's 61 degrees in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm out here wearing a hoodie. In LA, if it was 61, I'd be perfect. But now in Fort Lauderdale, it's about 100% humidity, so I'm actually sweating. So I just checked the app and updated the LAX to Atlanta flight, which was 693 miles. Definitely hitting it on the next two flights home. Hey, good to see you. Hi. Hi, cutie. Good to see you. Just out here on the beach, just enjoying the Atlantic Ocean. The these are all wave tops, they're not actually land. They're just the top, you think that it's the 
land, but it's actually the wave tops. We got Milk Creek on the beach when it's like 50 degrees out. Probably not a good idea, but you know, when in Rome, right? getting upgraded to first class. They upgraded the plane to a 767, which means I'm going to get lay flat bets. What a fitting way to end the year by taking my last flight of the year, the one that's going to push me to the next status on Delta and have it be on a 767, my favorite airplane, and having a lay flat bed in first class. Just, it's perfect. Going to the airport, I have to fight for a seat with this one. That's a big plane. That's a big plane. I didn't know that they could land 76s here for dark. Just getting to the airport. See you soon. First class, motherfucker. You guys probably noticed that I got a haircut while I was in Florida. Thus the clickbait title of the video. We really know that the reason that I flew here was to do a mileage run and only to do a mileage run to get my status for next year. And it's only, you know, 30 minutes late of boarding. I shouldn't be so, it's Christmas. I should be kinder. So, okay. We're finally boarding and I'm so stoked to be on this plane. Two, three, four, five D. Here we go. Welcome everybody. How y'all doing? Made it to my seat. And um, if you want to see what it looks like. Here we are. Yeah, baby. Guys, Delta is for real about the social distancing thing. Yo, I did not love that takeoff. I did not love that landing either, man. Uh, ooh, that's one of the reasons why I decided to switch to the aisle. For some reason, being able to see out the window really just, ooh, makes me nervous. I'm at the gate right now, guys, and uh, the app doesn't seem to be working, so I can't see if I got the upgrade. So I think this is gonna be a game time decision. Hey, oh. gentlemen. Not bad. There it is. Might be a there it picture. is. There it is. You Thank you, my bro. My pleasure, man. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. I left my bag at the gate, bro. Scan again? No, you're good. Thanks. Thank you, man. That was almost a f***ing disaster, man. Well, that wraps up 2020's travel. My last flight into LAX. Next year, I look forward to travel on a higher status with Delta, which is very exciting. As soon as I get home, I'm gonna check the app and refresh it make sure I'm confirmed as the updated status, but I see no reason why it, it won't happen. Henrik? Hey, my friend. <laughs>